Good morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching this. I am getting blinded by the sun. So we're gonna go this way a little bit. How's that? We are out here at UWF, University of West Florida. You can see the practice field out that way. We're getting ready for a PDGA C tier. Uh, I'm feeling weird this weekend. Uh, most of my events, I'm waking up at five something and driving for, you know, on, on average, probably almost, you know, hour and a half, two hours, an hour minimum. Uh, this one is about 10 minutes from my house. You'd think I'd have a pretty good advantage on this one as I get blinded again. But uh, to be completely honest with you, I, I don't throw this a ton. Um, if I'm doing field work, I go to uh, the other course that you might see. It's called 4-H. It's a little putter course. It just it helps keep me in tune. Uh, but I've been practicing here for the past two weeks. And uh, yeah, it was feel, it felt weird this morning because I, I woke up at like, you know, 545 6 and then sat there and rolled around in bed for half an hour because i'm like when do i leave how early is too early should i not go too early <laughs> it's been crazy um but here we are now uh, still got about an hour to tee off five man cards are going to slam this course this course is very demanding now behind me you see where my bag is is the tee pad for the reds and about what is that 100 feet off the tee you got double mando it's about eight foot wide and then you're going another 700 feet that way 800 feet that way so holes like that it's gonna make uh it's gonna make it a long day uh mental mental it's gonna be all mental game uh, but i'm coming off of uh, the heiserbaum hustle from last weekend last saturday i came from behind and took the win it was non-sanctioned sorry breakfast is mm, saying hi this morning uh, i took the win last saturday so feeling pretty good got to keep that momentum going into this saturday and finally claim a pdga mpo win get off of that wreck rob win that's looming i think i got an advanced win or something like that well, most of my wins come in non-sanctioned tournaments i don't know pdga uh, course play has been my achilles heel um, i started off that way this 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 year you know, look at my first tournament uh the Jubilee at Fairhope. Uh, first round, 10 20 rated round. More, like one or two back off camera, cold laser. Got on film, 9 24 rated round. So, PDJ event. I don't know why. Uh, I think I put more pressure on myself than it needs to be. But uh, we'll see if we can break the ice with this one. Uh, we got, we only got about, I think, three or four, I think three people in the division. So, I got to play smart. There's no, you know, it's, it's gonna be really tough to do anything, you know, not like last weekend where I could jump up, you know, four or five spots. You, you gotta play your game the whole time here. Uh, the advantage is though, I do get to see what the other two guys are throwing the whole time because we're gonna be carded the whole time. So I know where on some riskier holes, if I need to do something, you know what? That's not even my game. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I already have a game plan. I already know what I'm doing for this course. Uh, my goal is to shoot anywhere from even to three down I feel like it's a really good round out here uh, with this layout. So we'll see how I do. Yes, I'm rambling. Yes, it's three minutes into the video. Look, I got an hour before tea time and I haven't talked to you guys that much. So I'm kind of like unloading on you guys. For example, uh, I do have a Royal Box on the way. You don't know what that is? The Royal Box is gonna have five, it looks like five discs in it. Two of them are prototype discs that aren't even PDJ approved yet. And those two are also in the new Royal Series line. It's supposed to be, from what I'm reading and some of the reviews, like Johnny McCray put out a review of the box or unboxing, supposed to be super high-end plastic, super high-end plastic. I might play their advertisement, like, yeah. So super, like, I'm so excited. I already thought, you know, Lucid X, I thought it's about as premium, as they could go but you guys know lucid x sometimes gets pretty stiff so i'm wondering if they can keep that premium feeling without being like just rock hard yeah <sighs> well that took about four minutes and 40 seconds it's it's my filming you probably longer after you watch the advertisement it would it be a video without me rambling for five minutes i mean come on you guys already know you guys already know oh man all right so i'm gonna check in with you guys 
during lunch, hopefully, that I remember. Let you guys know how we're doing. And yeah, we'll check y'all then. Thank you for all the love and support you guys have been showing me over on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, even in my little community post on here. Thank you guys. We will catch you during lunch. Peace. Round one in the books. I'm going to be a little quick uh, lunch update because I got to get warmed up. Uh, shot four down. I think my goal was zero to three, something like that. Uh, tied for the lead right now. Uh, we both shot 1,007 rated rounds, I believe. Uh, the guy, the other guy in the division is over par. But anything can happen out here. Uh, well, I went bogey free. And I missed one putt inside the circle. I just hit it right into the band, just squared it right in the pole, right in the band. So that sucks. Other than that, uh, got a good lunch. Uh, Bobby's with me for the second round. So we're going to have some fun. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys after the tournament. Wish me luck. You know that moment when you thought you did something and you didn't? <laughs> I'm looking at my YouTube channel. I'm like, where's the video from this weekend? I forgot to record the ending. That's why I never got posted. <laughs> So let's 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 finish this video for you. It's been a couple seconds for me. It's 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 Tuesday, so it's it's been a few days. Um, where were we? Lunchtime, thousand seven rated round, tied for first, both at four down. Second round was a slugfest. He did something, I did something. I did something good, he did something good. I did something bad, he did something bad. Like it was just back and forth, back and forth, just mentally, just like. It was the most mental tournament I've ever uh, been a part of. Like, just pure mental. It was... It was mental. Did I say that enough? Yeah. Anyway, so, uh, we get to the final hole. We're tied. 900 and something foot par 5. Got a double Mando about 40, 50 feet off the tee. And he peers it. I slap the first tree on the left of the right at the mando like i hit the mando sign and dropped straight so i didn't miss the mando but on a 900 something foot hole i progressed 40 foot off the tee he uh i throw my raider my really 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 flippy raider on a sidearm and i try to like reach out around the tree and get some power on it you know what happens when you reach out away from your body on a sidearm and try to throw hard that's right you yank it over left really really hard Lucky for me, it hit a building or a tree or something over to the left where there was OB, and it kicked it right back in the middle of the fairway, about 300 foot down the fairway. Super lucky, crazy lucky. Uh, so on that shot, I have a, I have to get out of the woods still to get out to the open, and when I get out to the open, it's about 500 foot to the hole. Uh, I do get out to the open, and I get out to the open really good to where I now can progress to the green to try to save my par. He has to get out to the open to throw his approach shots. He doesn't have a good line, gets caught up in some stuff. He shorts his out. He didn't get as far as he want. Uh, he throws his next shot, and it's like, I thought he was 40 foot out. So I go up to my shot thinking, man, he's got a putt for birdie. I got to do something. I got to put this disc, just, I got to put it next to the basket or make it because this is it. I got to put the pressure on him. So I take out the old trusty Cenus and I literally put it on the pole. You know, the feet, the whole, you know, the back, it was on the pole. So that was my upshot for par. I'm safe, I'm in for a par. It's up to him. Turns out he's like 70 feet away. It's shorter than we thought. He gets his par, we go to a playoff. Playoff happens and it is, it's a bit of a circus. <laughs> Imagine standing on one side of a parking lot uh, the left side, Tournament Central, they're doing awards. The right side is just random people, you know, COVID-19, staying away from the awards. And then you have the parking lot going through the middle. And your basket's like 800 feet over the parking lot through the woods down by some OB. People crossing back and forth, kids playing, yelling at awards. It was a little chaotic, but I threw my shot. OB. Hit a tree high left. I thought it was totally safe. It was just a big, it was playing a big safe hyzer shot in there. OB. Okay, that sucks. He throws his even better, even further, higher, more left than me. And I'm like, he did it. It somehow plinkos down off the trees and it rolls OB too. And I'm like, 
Okay, we're back in it. Go up to the drop zone, and it's it's pretty much. And I don't want to say it's a, impossible. Uh, if I've thrown that shot ten times, I probably could maybe get it through there twice. I and at that moment I was, I got out of my head of conservative Rob and I went for hero Rob and that's not my game at all. But I went for it. Didn't work out. He throws a nice shot, a uh, nice safe up. He gets his bogey. I, of course, did not because my shot was horrible. I concede as soon as he, as soon as his disc lands with inside the circle, it was probably about 10 foot from the basket. I conceded. I was like, it's all you, but I, I, I'm throwing from, throwing from bogey from no man's land and you're already, you're already in, or I'm throwing for double. It, it was bad. It's such a anticlimactic way to end such a hard fought battle. But at the same time, I am super happy with how I performed uh, under the pressure of him pushing me on every single throw. It felt like every single putt, every single throw. Uh, I still have some work to do, of course, we always do. But on this day, second place was not a bad thing. Um, you know, I got saved back on the last hole. I should have been OB. I shouldn't even been in the playoff, right? Uh, so I, I was grateful for the battle i am a little disappointed in myself that i got out of my own game i i got wrapped up in the chaos that was the crowd and i went for it when i could have just did my thing we pushed to the next hole and we do it again right it is what it is still finished second still had fun uh absolute blast uh mike and the crew up at uwf put on one heck of a show there was two big transitions between the two loops of nine and he actually shuttled, they had a crew of people shuttling us in golf carts and, and from that loop back over. It, for a C tier, I was, it was pretty impressive. It was big shout out to Mike and the UWF crew. That was pretty impressive. But uh, yeah, guys, uh, past two weekends have been pretty stressful for tournament play. I'm looking forward to this Saturday as I go back out for another tournament, but this one should be more casual. Uh, we're gonna go see Tyler in Fort Walton Beach and do the Slinging for Santa for charity there. Uh, pretty fun uh, at my old home course. Uh, different kind of format. We play we play two rounds, but we literally just show up to the course and we do it back to back. Like no brunch, no nothing, just back to back. But the course is fairly short. It's only like two holes over 300 feet, so it's not that bad. Uh, I should have some fun. Nice semi-casual tournament round over there. Um, yeah, I'm going to ramble. It's already been six, seven minutes. I'm, I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to let you guys get on with your day. Um, I guess I'll see you later in the week. We are still doing videos. I'm just, I'm really juggling working out. Uh, these last two weeks were tournament prep during the week and then working out at night, getting recording videos in there. You guys know the drill, uh, but I've been working out four times a week and doing a lot of tournament prep. Tournaments are dying down a little bit. Should start seeing some videos back up. All right. All right, guys. And as always, be better than yesterday. Later.